Hello YouTube, this is Chris here. Another update, quick video, nothing major. Um, first of all, I look like shit, in my opinion. I don't go out normally on a Saturday. My hair is all messed up. Um, I don't like long hair. My hair is a lot longer than I typically care for it to be. I'll be getting a haircut this week. Um, I am a short hair guy, and you've seen some of my videos. So most of my hair is a lot shorter than this. I've got my hairlines receding uh, right here. I've got silver hairs throughout. And when, and when my hair gets long, I develop a little bald spot in the back. You know what? I'm not ashamed nor afraid to admit these things. That's just me. Those are flaws. That's part of life. Um, I'm not going to be able to age gracefully. I already know that because I feel like I have a diminished view of myself and I have for many years based on what other people thought I guess I saw it when I looked in the mirror as well so it just manifested and I know I don't look great and that's going to be a huge downfall when it comes to any type of relationship you know unfortunately in this world in today's society women and uh, are predisposed to a certain look of a male they see it on TV, they see it on magazines, they hear about it. And that is the way that they see, oh, you're supposed to have a man that looks like this with washboard abs and 20 inch guns and big pectorals and, you know, you're supposed to have, um, you know, caps of steel and uh, you're supposed to get manicures and pedicures and have the, the best looking fingernails. And, and nice, you know, all this and that, and, you know, I guess if you want to take care of yourself, I don't really have a problem with that, you know, that's your business, but you got to understand, not everybody really gives a shit, you know what I mean, and I'm not trying to say that in a bad way, it's my life, it's my body, let me be the way I want to be, you know, and that that's the problem I have in the world, people want you to be something other than sometimes what you want to be, and in my case, people, I guess, expected more different out of me, and I never changed. I just, I kept being me. And maybe that was, maybe I should have tried to change. I, I would say the only change I ever tried to make would be when I started using drugs. I kind of thought in the beginning, yeah, I was using it for my depression. But I kind of thought in the beginning that maybe this would get me socially involved because, you know, when we're in the 90s, we're in Generation X, late 90s, uh, punk rock is, is big. And, uh, you know, you got your rap rock. Rap is really huge at this point. You know, so that lifestyle, that gangster drug, I was like, okay, that's what I'm watching, that's what I'm going to go for. And so I, I guess in a way, uh, I kind of dressed a little, you know, I made my grandma buy me these baggy Jinkos. Jinkos used to be the most popular jean back in the day. And if you're from my generation, you know about Jinko jeans. So the big old jeans, you know, this wide at the bottom, you know, like bell bottoms looking back, you know, my mom which I don't really have much of a relationship with, didn't know very much, but she'd come around every so often and she would tell me, those are bell bottoms, you know, because in her generation, you know, wide legged bands at the bottom, but in our generation, it was like, cool, gangster rock, you know. So I guess I tried to change in that sense. I started using marijuana. Uh, I was already experimenting with pain medication, and uh, so I started using marijuana, and I thought, oh, now I'm going to get socially accepted because I'm going to find, you know, the, the drugs users of the of the world and it didn't happen because you know at the end of the day uh, I had you know my issues had already begun and again you know I just it just wasn't working I was trying something I was not so it was not going to work and um, you know my drink's not open that's it's pretty retarded but okay so that, that'd be the only indication of a time when I tried to change who I was but uh, other than that you get what you see you know I don't have the best looking hands and fingernails I don't I'm not gonna show you my feet um, I don't have the best you know beard it's not you know perfectly proportioned it's not you know some hair and spots is lighter than others you know my hair you know when it grows out does not look so great you know the receding there's silver hairs throughout like I said the bald spot it's just me now, when I have short hair, it looks fine, and that's why I tend to go with the short hair, and yeah, I've let it go a while, just because, you know, when you're depressed like me, you don't really give a shit, and probably I should just let my hair grow, my beard grow, but in a sense, I do, in the back of my mind, say, you know, I can at least get a haircut and at least trim my beard up. I like having a beard and mustache. I don't know what I would look like without it, simply because, and this is going to be kind of hard to admit, I've had my mustache since I was 13, 
and it's just been trimmed. And my beard, I started growing it when I was 14. And, you know, I've shaved it off a couple times, but, but mainly me, um, I'm a bearded guy. That's just what I like. Um, I've contemplated shaving it off and even shaving the mustache, but, um, you know, whatever. You know, I, I'm me. I do what I want. And, you know, pe people can, you know, they want you to be what they want you to be. And for me, it's like, fuck it. If you're not going to ever accept me the way I am and how I am, then fuck it. You know, I guess it just wasn't meant to be, but... Just a quick little update video here, and um, Donnie Miller, I'm glad you kind of responded, not directly towards me, but as far as, you know, letting me know you're not suicidal, whether you're telling the truth or not, I don't know, but I, I'm going to believe you on that one, and uh, I'm glad you cleared that up for me. I'll drop the subject, but I'm still concerned. I still worry about you, man, because in your next video, you're on there. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm all for trashing the medicine, you know, as far as it pertains to you and me. Well, you, because it doesn't work for you, and it never worked for me. I'm all for that, but one thing I'm not, you know, I guess 100% on is people do look up to you, man. You do have followers, and uh, believe it or not, someone's going to watch your video, and that medicine may help them, you know, just because our chemistry and brain chemistry was, you know, not receptive to the medicines, it may actually help them. So you got to look at it as... I guess you're not trying to be a role model, that was never your intention, but people do look up to you, Don Lee, and uh, I think, you know, you can, you know, basically when you do videos like that, you need to just make it clear that you're talking about yourself, you're not talking about other people who may have never got on medication, because you don't know if it would work for them or not, so, you know, I guess per face it, I mean, I'm not you, I'm not going to try to tell you what to do, I don't run you, I, I'm not, you know, your, um, you know, your parents or anything like that, but, you know, you got to remember, there are some people out there that may look to you as an inspiration, as I did. That's why I started making YouTube videos discussing my lifelong issues. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you might want to, uh, you know, just take a take a moment to think about what you're putting out there. And, uh, you know, you never know. You might negatively influence someone, and they might not, you know, take the medication that they may need to help them. And, you know, believe it or not, you like I said, you're not trying to be a role model, but believe it or not, somebody may look up to you. So I'm just glad that you said you're not suicidal. That just makes me feel a little better because I would hate to hear that you died. And uh, the bull puggy thing, that's cool, man, but a little loopy, a little bit out there, man. Um, the way, you know, I know you're trying to be funny. Now, I'm not meaning no harm, but it just came off a little loopy. But you know what? whatever works man you're trying to do your thing man I'm all for it I'm all about being yourself you know I just you know there are some things that I guess it, like you've been doing it longer than me and there's some things I'm gonna have to get used to that maybe somebody will watch my videos and look up to me for spreading the message of, of, of uh, how I feel about our mental health situation and I totally agree and this is a topic we need to have in this country, and I've said it before, mental health is a discussion that really needs to be brought to the forefront, the massacres, school shootings in the malls, you know, movie theaters, what have you, all of them are underlying mental conditions. Someone finally snapped, they couldn't take it anymore, and bada bing, bada bam, innocent families were affected, innocent people were killed, innocent lives were lost. So, um... You know, if somebody watches my video and it makes them express themselves and maybe if it helps them to... Basically, what I want to get out of this is I want someone to not end up like me, not end up a 31-year-old loner with no friends, with nobody. A 31-year-old lifelong loser that failed at everything, that couldn't handle rejection and the way people treated him, so he just gave up completely on life. Because that's, at the end of the day, what happened. I gave up. And I know I still have... I say I have a... Uh, my term is a 5% hope that things will get better and I've carried that number for the last couple of years but as I get older it's gonna eventually go to four, three, two, and eventually I'm gonna have no hope at least I still have little hope even though at the end of the day I gave up on my life my message to any young, younger person or even if you're older well I guess you can't relate to older people because if you're older than me you've been dealing with it for a long time too so younger people teens early 20s if you've been dealing with what I've been going through with the rejection the you know thinking the world has just shitted you and wonder why and you blame yourself and you hate yourself 
Fix it now. Do what you can. Try everything you can in your power and don't give up. You don't want to end up like me. You don't want to end up like a guy who has nobody who is shunned by his family because of the way he is, who was shunned by life, who couldn't handle rejection, just wanted a chance, just wanted a girl to come along and fall in love. That was the ultimate dream in life. That was the greatest thing that could have ever happened to this boy. He tried so hard, so valiantly at periods in his life, and he just kept failing to the point where it just couldn't take the heartbreak anymore, so he gave up. And now he accepts it, even though he yearns for acceptance, he has accepted the fact that more than likely he's going to be alone till the day he dies in that grave. And who's going to put him there? I don't know. Excuse me. Uh, it just... I don't want anybody to be in my position because it's just no fun. It's no life. you got to do what you can to, to beat it. You know, you can't end up like me. I, I'm probably a lost cause. You know, like I said, I'm not young anymore. I'm going on 32. And Donnie Miller, you know, you keep going, man. You're older than me. I'm glad you keep your head up, man, and, and you keep trying. But for a guy like me, I really, at the end of the day, have got to accept facts the way they are. I don't have a, I have zero social skills. I don't know how to be in a relationship. Even if a girl was to just fall into my lap, she would, like I said, she'd have to be the ultimate one that would be willing to grow with me and understand. And Is that ever going to happen, please? In this day and age, in this society, yeah, I give myself a set of 5% hope of something happening, but at the end of the day, in this day and age, in this society, I'm up against a brick wall and there ain't no way there's no girl out there that's really going to accept a guy with all these flaws and help him recover. It's just not going to happen. So I can tell myself, and I guess at the end of the day, I guess the uh, uh, the bright light is, you know, well, not a bright light, but I guess the, um, oh, I don't know how to put it there. I can't think of it right now. I'm, I'm, I'm getting very upset and uh, just thinking about it, but it's just... At the end of the day, maybe, just maybe, this was my destiny, and this is what I have to accept, and I'm starting to accept it. I mean, I have accepted it. You know, I figure if I was going to make friends, if I was going to make it in this world, I would have already started turning a corner, and I have not. So I'll spend the rest of my years alone, make videos on this YouTube thing for as long as I can, as long as uh, it'll let me, as long as I feel like it. And uh, who knows? Who knows? You can never say never, but my message to all you people, be yourself. Don't hide your issues if you're dealing with mental issues. Let them be known. Let your voice be heard that you want help and you want to be fixed. Do whatever you can and just don't end up like me because you don't want to end up spending every night of your life alone, laying down every night alone tears in your eyes knowing that the next day it's going to be the same it's just going to be you again and it keeps happening over and over and over it's like groundhog day every day is the same you wake up you're alone you wonder if you're going to do this you're going to do that but when you you know but at the end of the day like me i just want to stay home i don't want to go anywhere so i get in my car and drive and i make this video and i'll go back home and upload it and that'll be it i'll spend the rest of my day on my couch and by myself listening to music, watching a little TV, playing a little Xbox, whatever. And that's the routine I've been going on for years and years and years and years. And times have changed. Some scenarios have been different. But at the end of the day, it's just been me. All me. No interaction. No social function. Nothing. You do not want to end up like me because it is hell. And there could be a lot of things worse than me and I admit that and I've admitted that in another video there are people with other diseases I don't even know if I got this video uploaded I think I meant to upload a video about this but there are people with cancer and AIDS and terminal illnesses I can't relate to those people but based on my life and my issues as it relates to me it's hell because I'm just a guy just wanted a chance and was never given it so that's my video for the day until next time this has been Chris out